Epidemiology of Snake Bites, Wikipedia Audio Most snake bites are caused by non-venomous snakes. Of the roughly 3,000 known species of snake found worldwide, only 15% are considered dangerous to humans. Snakes are found on every continent except Antarctica. There are two major families of venomous snakes, Elipidae and Viperidae. 325 species and 61 genera are recognized in the family Elipidae and 224 species and 22 genera are recognized in the family Viperidae. In addition, the most diverse and widely distributed snake family, the colubrids, has approximately 700 venomous species, but only five genera boom slangs, twig snakes, keelback snakes, green snakes, and slender snakes have caused human fatalities. Since reporting is not mandatory in many regions of the world, snake bites often go unreported. Consequently, no accurate study has ever been conducted to determine the frequency of snake bites on the international level. However, some estimates put the number at 1.2 to 5.5 million snake bites, 421,000 envenomings, resulting in perhaps 20,000 deaths, but the actual number of deaths may be as high as 94,000. Many people who survive bites nevertheless suffer from permanent tissue damage caused by venom, leading to disability. Most snake envenomings and fatalities occur in South Asia, Southeast Asia, and Sub-Saharan Africa, with India reporting the most snake bite deaths of any country. Worldwide, snake bites occur most frequently in the summer season when snakes are active and humans are outdoors. Agricultural and tropical regions report more snake bites than anywhere else. In North America, the victims are typically male and between 17 and 27 years of age. Children and the elderly are the most likely to die. Africa Although Africa is home to four venomous snake families Atractus bididae, Colubridae, Elipidae, and Viperidae approximately 60% of all bites are caused by vipers alone. In drier regions of the continent, such as Sahels and savannas, the saw-scaled vipers inflict up to 90% of all bites. The puff adder is responsible for the most fatalities overall, although saw-scaled vipers inflict more bites in North African countries, where the puff adder is typically not found. The black mamba, although responsible for far fewer snake bite incidents, is the species which has the highest mortality rate in Africa and in the world. Most bites occur in industrial plantations, which attract many types of snake prey. Banana plantations are associated with vipers such as night adders, while rubber and palm tree plantations attract elipids, including cobras and black mambas. Important cobra species include the forest cobra and the black-necked spitting cobra. In forested areas of Guinea, cobras may inflict more than 30% of all venomous bites. Mambas, cobras, and some larger puff adder species may claim territories of up to 1 to 2 square kilometers, which are used by the snakes for hunting and reproduction. These snakes are large enough to defend their territory from intruders, including humans. The black mamba, in particular, is among the most venomous snakes in the world and one of the most aggressive. It is the longest snake on the continent and is able to move at 11 km per hour, making it unusually dangerous. Although black mambas cause only 0.5 to 1% of snake bites in South Africa, they produce the highest mortality rate and the species is responsible for many snake bite fatalities. The black mamba is the species with the highest mortality rate in every single nation in which it occurs, 
despite not being responsible for the most numerous number of snake bites. It is also the species which has the highest mortality rate worldwide. There are also venomous colubrids in Africa, although of these only two arboreal genera, the boom slang and the twig snakes, are likely to inflict life-threatening bites. Of the Atractus bitidae, Atractus bees is the species involved in the majority of bites. Since these snakes are nocturnal and fossorial, living in burrows underground, bites remain rare, peaking at 1 to 3 percent in certain areas of the Sudanian savanna. However, there is no anti venom or other effective therapy for Atractus bees envenomation, and the case fatality rate remains approximately 10 percent with death typically occurring quickly. Snake bites in Africa are most common in the sub-Saharan countries, and typically occur during the rainy season when snakes are more active. Agricultural plantations and pastoral areas are involved in approximately 50 to 60 percent of reported snake bites, while outdoor activities such as collecting firewood and water account for another 20 percent of bites. Approximately 1 million snake bites occur in sub-Saharan Africa each year, resulting in up to 500,000 envenomations, 25,000 deaths, and another 25,000 permanent disabilities. Because there is no reliable reporting system in place and because most victims never report their injury to healthcare facilities, these numbers are uncertain. One comprehensive study estimates that 91,000 to 420,000 snake envenomings occur in sub-Saharan Africa annually, resulting in anywhere from 4,000 to 30,000 deaths. The same study estimates that 3,000 to 80,000 envenomations occur in North Africa, although far fewer people, less than 100, die each year. The variability of these estimates is indicative of the difficulty in accurately assessing snake bite morbidity and mortality. In sub Saharan Africa, over 50% of snake bite injuries are not appropriately treated. Between 40 and 80% of victims, depending on the country, exclusively rely on traditional medicine for treatment. Most victims who receive treatment by healthcare professionals have nevertheless delayed seeking medical attention for over 24 hours, and often up to one to two weeks. In many sub-Saharan countries, poor availability of expensive anti-venom contributes to morbidity, and snake bites continue to remain a neglected health problem. In Bangladesh, Incidence of snake bites is very high like other tropical countries of Southeast Asia. Here most snake bite victims dwelling in rural areas are farmers, fishermen and hunters and also there are a high number of snake bite occurrences that happened at their homes as most of the snakes are nocturnal animals and poor people have the practice of sleeping on the floor. An epidemiological study estimated about 8,000 snake bites per year with 22% mortality which has been identified to be one of the highest in the world. Nonetheless, there are approximately 80 species of snakes found in Bangladesh, among them only few are venomous. These are cobra, krite, Russell's viper, saw-scaled viper, green snakes, and sea snakes. However, most of the bites are reported by non-venomous snakes and even as many as 40% bites inflicted by venomous snakes do not produce signs of envenoming. On the Indian subcontinent, almost all snake bite deaths have traditionally been attributed to the Big Four, consisting of the Russell's viper, Indian cobra, saw-scaled viper, and the common krite. However, studies have shown that the hump-nosed viper, previously considered essentially harmless and misidentified as the saw-scaled viper, is capable of delivering a fatal bite. In regions of Kerala, India, it may be responsible for nearly 10% of venomous bites. 
Commonly used antivenoms in India do not appear to be effective against hump-nosed viper bites. According to the most conservative estimates, at least 81,000 snake envenomings and 11,000 fatalities occur in India each year, making it the most heavily affected country in the world. The Malayan pit viper and banded krite are two other species involved in a significant number of venomous bites. Asia In Myanmar, approximately 70 to 80 percent of bites are inflicted by the Russell's viper, which is frequently found in rice fields. In Japan, the majority of venomous bites are inflicted by the Asian pit vipers. In Sri Lanka, Approximately 40% of bites are caused by the Russell's viper, while 35% are caused by the Indian cobra. In Thailand, the monocled cobra is responsible for the majority of snake bite fatalities. Tea plantations are sometimes associated with elipids such as the common cobras and the king cobra. Reports of large man eating pythons are common in Southeast Asia although the threat is typically exaggerated. However, in the Philippines, more than a quarter of Ida men have reported surviving a reticulated python attack. Pythons are non-venomous ambush predators, and both the Ida and pythons hunt deer, wild pigs, and monkeys, making them competitors and prey. Throughout Western Asia, the species responsible for the majority of bites tend to be more venomous than European snakes, but deaths are infrequent. Studies estimate that perhaps 100 fatal bites occur each year. The Palestine viper and Lebatine viper are the most important species. While larger and more venomous elipids, such as the Egyptian cobra, are also found throughout the Middle East these species inflict fewer bites. The vast majority of venomous snake bites in Australasia occur in the Australasian ecozone. At least 300 evnomations occur each year in Papua New Guinea, 30 in the Solomon Islands, and 10 Vanuatu. The majority of bites in New Guinea are caused by the death adders, and a smaller number by the endemic small-eyed snake and other local species. Most of the Pacific Islands are free of terrestrial snakes, although sea snakes are common in coral reefs. In the Oceania ecozone, only Micronesia and Tonga, where at least 10 envenomations occur annually, face an appreciable burden of snake bite. In Australia, there are many more annual cases of spider bite and jellyfish envenomation than snake bite, however, when considering the number of fatal cases, snake bite is the most serious type of envenoming. Australia is unique in that it is the only continent where venomous snakes constitute the majority of species. Nearly all venomous species in Australia are elipids, as vipers are absent from the continent. The brown snakes, death adders, mulga snakes, taipans, and tiger snakes are the five groups that inflict virtually all reported snake bites, although copperheads, rough-scaled snakes, and members of the genus Hoplocephalus are also occasionally involved in bites. Of the five dangerous groups, the highly venomous eastern brown snake, which is widespread and common in both rural and urban environments, is the most important it is estimated to be responsible for up to 60% of all deaths caused by snake bite. In northern Australia, sea snakes are common and occasionally inflict bites, although far less frequently than terrestrial snakes. Several venomous colubrids exist in Australia as well, such as the brown tree snake, although they have geographically limited distributions and only very rarely deliver a medically significant bite. In Tasmania and Kangaroo Island, which have a cooler, moister habitat than mainland Australia, the tiger snakes and copperhead snakes inflict the majority of bites.
The brown snakes are not present on these islands. Australasia Europe Despite the fact that many Australian snakes have unusually potent venom, wide access to anti-venom, which is available for all dangerous species, has made deaths exceedingly rare. It is believed that up to 1,500 definite or suspected snake bites occur in Australia each year, of which about 200 are serious enough to warrant anti-venom therapy. Approximately 2 to 4 fatalities occur annually. North America South America Oceans Gallery In Europe Nearly all of the snakes responsible for venomous bites belong to the viper family, and of these, the coastal viper, nose-horned viper, ASP viper, and lotus viper inflict the majority of bites. Although Europe has a population of some 731 million people, snake bites are only responsible for about 30 fatalities each year largely due to wide access to health care services and anti-venom, as well as the relatively mild potency of many native species venom. Of the 120 known indigenous snake species in North America, only 20 are venomous to human beings, all belonging to the families Viperidae and Elipidae. However, in the United States, Every state except Maine, Alaska, and Hawaii is home to at least one of 20 venomous snake species. Up to 95% of all snake bite related deaths in the United States are attributed to the western and eastern diamondback rattlesnakes. Further, the majority of bites in the United States occur in the southwestern part of the country in part because rattlesnake populations in the eastern states are much lower. The national average incidence of venomous snake bites in the United States is roughly 4 bites per 100,000 persons, and about 5 deaths per year total. The state of North Carolina has the highest frequency of reported snake bites, averaging approximately 19 bites per 100,000 persons. Fewer than 1% of venomous snake bites in the United States are caused by coral snakes, the rest being caused by the pit vipers. Mexico is estimated to have at least 28,000 snake envenomings annually, although only a small number of these lead to death. Central America is home to 23 species of pit vipers, and they inflict the vast majority of reported bites. Of these, both Rops asper is the most important species, partly because it is abundant in lowland areas and partly because it is frequently found in agricultural and pastoral areas where humans work. Of the elipids, the yellow-bellied sea snake has, very rarely, caused venomous bites, while the coral snakes, although common, inflict only 1 to 2 percent of all reported snake bites. Of the coral snakes, MICR Eurus nigrosinctus is responsible for the most bites. Colubrid species found in Central America only cause mild to moderate envenomation in healthy adults, and most of these bites have occurred in humans handling the snakes. Panama may have the greatest incidence of snake bites in Latin America, while El Salvador has the lowest. The total number of snake bites in Central America is estimated to be 4,000 to 5,000, although as in other regions of the world, snake bites are probably underreported. In the Neotropics, the lance-headed vipers inflict the majority of fatal bites, although of the many known species, only two, the common lancehead and tercio pelo, are responsible for most fatalities. The tropical rattlesnake is another important species. Most of the Pacific Islands are free of terrestrial snakes, however, sea snakes are common in the Indian Ocean and tropical Pacific Ocean, 
but are not found in the Atlantic Ocean or the Caribbean, Mediterranean, or Red Seas. While the majority of species live close to shorelines or coral reefs, the fully pelagic yellow-bellied sea snake can be found in the open ocean. Over 50% of bites inflicted by sea snakes, which are generally not aggressive, occur when fishermen attempt to remove snakes which have become tangled in fishing nets. Symptoms may appear in as little as 5 minutes or take 8 hours to develop, depending on the species and region of the body bitten. Although sea snakes are known for extremely potent venom, about 80% of reported bites end up being dry. It is estimated that each year 15,000 to 75,000 fishermen are bitten by sea snakes. The advent of antivenom and advances in emergency medicine have reduced fatalities to about 3% of snake bite cases. The highly venomous beaked sea snake is responsible for more than 50% of all sea snake bites, as well as the majority of envenomings and fatalities. The black mamba is one of Sub-Saharan Africa's most feared snakes. A territorial species that may become unusually aggressive if provoked. Without antivenom treatment, the mortality rate is 100%, though bites recorded from this species are relatively rare in the continent. A juvenile Indian cobra, perhaps India's most recognized snake. This species is a member of the Big Four, a group of snakes traditionally held responsible for the majority of fatalities on the Indian subcontinent. The widespread and common eastern brown snake is one of Australia's most venomous elipids. Fast-moving and aggressive if threatened, it is responsible for more than half of the country's fatal bites. Although not a particularly aggressive species, the horned viper possesses the most potent venom of all European snakes. It is typically regarded as the continent's most dangerous snake. The highly venomous eastern diamondback rattlesnake is the largest rattlesnake species in the world. A large, heavy-bodied and powerful pit viper, it is the leading cause of fatal snake bites in North America. The two-striped forest pit viper is an arboreal snake from the Amazon basin. An important cause of bites in its habitat, it may be the second most dangerous snake in the Amazon after the common lance head. Southeast Asia's reticulated python, the world's largest snake, is a potentially dangerous species. More than a quarter of Eda men have survived python predation attempts.